Hello! Today's video is about an awesome company called Climeworks that builds machines that take CO2 out of the air. Yes, they are the sponsor of this video, but I wouldn't have agreed to have them sponsor this video if I did not believe in what they do. They called me up and they're like, hey, want a sponsor? And I'm like, what do you do? Take CO2 out of the air? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so let's talk about direct air capture and how Climeworks is making the world not not good by taking CO2 out of the air. What should we call it? This video is coming at you in question answer form. Qua? Yes. And the questions I'll be answering were posed by some random strangers I found on the street. First question from this random stranger. Hello, I'm a doctor. Taking carbon out of the air sounds pretty great. I should know. I'm a doctor. Should I rest easy knowing we've found the one and only solution to climate change? <laughs> yes, absolutely. We don't have to worry about reducing emissions anymore. Don't take it from me. Ask Stephen and Rachel from Climeworks. I did. We need to reduce first, 100%. Oh. I mean, ideally, we just stop yeah. drilling from the ground. But unfortunately, A, as much as we would love that, it's a transition. And B, there's already too much carbon in the air. Our technology is removing those unavoidable excess emissions kind of on top of reduction methods. Oh, right, right, right. There are lots of things that need to be done to combat climate change. We need to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, increase renewables, electric cars, plant trees, stop having methane balloon fights. I used to do that. It was a different time. So it's not the only tool, obviously, but direct air capture is useful. And I like what Climeworks is doing. Why do you like Climeworks? Give me the prognosis, for I am a doctor. First of all, I talked to Rachel and Stephen from Climeworks, and they seem like real, genuine people who care about the real, genuine world. I asked what brought them to Climeworks. I was like, I want to work in climate, I want something full of purpose, and I want to use my skills as a marketer to be able to communicate to you know, mass audience, make a difference for the world, and spread the word that there's solutions out there. Steve brought up a question he didn't like that he got asked while he was working at his old job in an advertising agency. Are you one of those guys that put ads in front of my YouTube videos, and kind I'm of working for an advertising agency. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. And that really me. made me think yeah, about no. what am I doing here? Yeah, I'd never put an ad in a YouTube video. That's why I kind of moved towards something with more purpose in life. My reason for being here is that I really want to have an impact and not just put silly YouTube ads. So there you go. Climeworks is made up of real people who just want to help. Done. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to support Climeworks, there's a link down below where you can subscribe. Whoa, whoa, slow down, son. I'm a police officer and I've got more questions. Oh, right. Back to the qua. As a police officer, I'd like to know how does Climeworks climb work? <laughs> hmm. Okay, here are the details. You got your fan drawing in your air into your box with your special filter that your CO2 sticks to. Once you're all full up of CO2, the box closes and heats to 100 degrees Celsius. They're a Swiss company. They use Celsius. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. America! Mm. This allows the pure CO2 to be collected. In Iceland, we have um, a partner there called Carbfix, and it's a really, really cool process. So once we have the captured CO2, we liquefy it, and then it gets injected deep underground, about a thousand meters, which is basically like two Eiffel Towers. We've got a plant running in Iceland, which was launched last September. It's called Orca, which is actually the Icelandic word for energy. The really great thing about Iceland is it's full of basaltic rock, which is like a hard sponge. If you imagine all this liquefied CO2 is kind of filling the gaps, it then becomes solid matter and it stays underground essentially forever. Okay, okay, okay. But as a police officer, can this only work in Iceland? I believe it was Björk who said it best. Nope. It's not limited to Iceland. There is the right kind of rock in many, many different places. Um, we've got a pilot in Oman. They are actually using a different type of rock. It's not basaltic, so... See, it can happen lots of places. Hello, I'm a man in a tuxedo. Do we need to bury all that carbon? Can't it be used much like my brother is being used by the woman he just married at the wedding I just came from? Yes, it can be and is used. Not like that, though. In addition to burying a lot of it forever, they give some to greenhouses to grow vegetables. They've also gotten into the fizzness business and sold some to Coca-Cola so that they can make their sparkly water sparkly. Okay, okay. But doesn't this use a lot of energy, much like I did doing the twist with my cousin? 
Yes, it does use energy, but fortunately their site in Iceland uses Iceland's clean geothermal energy. But yes, they want to build these in a lot of different places, which is why they plan to build near renewable sources as they grow. Oh, so they plan to grow, do they? What are their plans for the future? And should I sign a prenup? Well, this isn't a marriage, so no. But yes, they have big plans. Here's the deal. Climate scientists are saying that we need to get up to removing about 10 billion tons of carbon from the air by the year 2050. That's, that's a lot. We're nowhere near that. But Climeworks has begun scaling up and they plan to continue scaling up a lot more. Their first plant is called Orca. They've begun building another plant called Mammoth because it'll be much bigger. Currently we're pulling 4,000 tons of CO2 per year and the next plant will be almost 10 times that. That's a lot but it's not this whole 10 billion tons per year thing. So we want to get to that level, multiple plants in lots of different locations, pulling megatons and being really what we call climate relevant. We're pulling thousands of tons and we want to get to billions. But now that we have it and now that it's proven, it's something that we can keep scaling. Okay, great. As a tree hater, we can pretty much forget about trees now, right? Because I hate them. No, 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 no. Why do you hate trees? Of course we got to continue planting trees. I love trees. I can climb them, my dog pees on them, I sometimes pee on them if I'm well hidden and really gotta go. What's not to love? But we need more than trees. It needs a thousand times less space than trees. Keep planting trees, keep investing in reforestation projects and everything, but it requires too much land to remove the amount we need. Two Indias, one Europe. I mean, it's mind blowing, it's huge. You know, we've got these kind of shipping container size collectors, which you can just stack. As a regular person who exists, I'm thinking this is a very large challenge. Is there a reason to hope Yes, you may have seen in the news recently that Climeworks has received funds from some large donors and just regular people like you. Who, me? Yes. We've got currently 15,000 what we call climate pioneers. What we think is really um, unique with Climeworks is that actually individuals can take a subscription and they can remove CO2 from the air, fight climate change on a monthly basis or yearly basis, and you can help support the goal and the mission. I'm a climate pioneer, currently in 34th place. What up? Wait. 35? I went down a rank while I was editing this. Oh, I'm so angry that more people want to fight climate change now. Where was I? I support them every month, and you can too. You can just follow the link below and subscribe. You can get in on the ground floor of what I think is going to be a big player in the fight against climate change. Any other questions? Hey Carl, are you paying me for being in this video? I sure am. Great. In the form of promotion. Oh, that's super. My mortgage is three YouTube promotions. Check out Greg Benson's hilarious live streams at twitch.tv slash mediocrefilms and his wonderful podcast, Two Guys Talking About Lettuce with Craig Benzine. They talk about wonderful nonsense. Very little about lettuce actually, but it's fine. And thanks again to Rachel and Steven for talking with me and for helping take CO2 out of the air. I hate climate change, it's so stupid! So you can click down there to subscribe to them or just go to their website, learn more about them, tweet about them, tell your grandma. I regret telling you that I peed on trees sometimes. Don't go peeing on uh, other people's trees. And YouTube thinks you'll like that video. There's a video that's probably really good. I don't know what it is. You can click there to subscribe and check out Climeworks. Thanks for having me. And I apologize for saying the word in your branded video.